What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go within Shopify, go into the Printful app and create a sample order. Um, we're going to talk about why it's important and how to do it. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so today is a really quick video. I just want to make sure that everybody knows how to go into the Printful app and order a sample of the products for free shipping and for a 20% off discount. Anybody can do this that has a Printful store. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our Shopify store and we're going to go to our apps um, in the main dashboard. And then once we're in apps, so this is kind of a sneak peek where you can see the apps that I'm kind of playing with right now. I only have, let's see, five apps right now. Um, so for right now, we're gonna click Printful. We're gonna go into our Printful dashboard and then we're gonna go up to the top right and we're gonna select New Order. Now when we're in New Order, you can create a basic order which just basically allows you to create a manual order for probably a customer if you're having an issue or just for somebody else if you wanna just come in and create a, a customer order or if you run out of sample orders. Um, or you can create a screen printing order um, if you're gonna create if you're creating an order for like uh, bulk quantities you can get a little bit of a discount for creating a lot of t-shirts at once but for this um, circumstance you want to create a sample order now when you create a sample order you get a 20% off discount you get free shipping and you can order up to a maximum of three products so uh, and then also only two orders per month so um, I've never had, I've never needed more than that to get a sample order. The only reason I would order more samples would just be to get the discount. Um, so basically we're going to cl click create sample order and there's a couple of little tricks here um, for ordering samples. So you can add, you can click add product and go add your own products, which is highly recommended. Or if you scroll down, you can order color swatches. Now what a color swatch is, if you've never ordered one or if you've never heard of it, it's basically a one of these products, so we'll say a white t-shirt. It's gonna be a white t-shirt and it's gonna have all of the colors that Printful can um, basically print in. So the red, green, blue, or the RGB colors, it's gonna have the color and basically the code of what the RGB values are so that you know how that color actually shows up on the t-shirt. So uh, one thing I've noticed is that Printful's um, colors are also, they're always really good quality. Um, I've never been surprised by a design, but I also don't create super, super colorful designs either. I usually stick to pretty basic designs, but when I first started using Printful, I did order a white t-shirt color swatch just to have an idea of what those colors would, how they would represent in real life. And if you're going to use um, a color, colorful designs, I would highly recommend that you do this. Um, I've never done it for the white mug, the enhanced matte paper, the pillowcase, the print tote, or white all, or the um, leggings. But if these are going to be some of the focus that you're going to have a lot of products on, I recommend that you um, order one, order a color swatch so that you know how the colors are going to be represented. And it's nice to have it as a reference as you create designs um, down the road. You have that color swatch to look to look to and say, okay, yes, this shows up really well on a white T-shirt. I'm going to go with this color. Um, because I know what it's going to look like for the customer. Another reason why you would order a color swatch is because sometimes, and not very often, the uh, mock-up that you'll see within Printful and what you put on your Shopify store might differ a little bit in color from what the actual product is. So you just wanna make sure that you know exactly what the mock-up looks like um, and what the color is actually gonna look like in real life. Super, super important. So besides ordering color swatches, you can also order your own products. So click add products, you can scroll through. So these are my products on the Zone of Action website. You can order one, you can click choose, and then you can, the cool thing is you can alter the design as you kind of check out and pick your product. So if you wanna like test something else out in a different color that you don't offer on your store, you can do that um, just to get an idea. So say if down the road I wanted to create a sample and order this hat in pink because I wanted to see what it looked like, I could do that through a sample order um, and not necessarily have that created or live on my store. So we'll just click continue right now. Um, and then it'll tell me what the price is. So basically what the price that I'm gonna have to pay is and then what I have it set for the retail value. So one key thing on the sample orders is that if you're gonna do something with embroidery 
and you haven't sold one of those yet and you have to digitize the file so all all files that go in for embroidery products have to be digitized and you get charged a one-time fee to, to do that process so that they convert whatever file you uploaded into the um, basically the file format that they need to embroider products. So if you scroll down, this was a good example of picking the hat because it's an embroidered product. Um, you can see that I have this file digitization one item. So even though I'll have to pay that now for $8.95, I won't have to pay that again when somebody orders it or if I order another one, it's a one-time fee. So if you see these file digitization, I don't know if there's any more um, small fees like this, but um, just know that it should only be a one-time fee and that it's a normal fee that you're that you're gonna have to um, enter anyway. Um, so just something to keep note of. Okay guys, so that's really all I had on creating the sample orders um, within Printful. But one thing that you should also do once you have your store set up and um, you're basically gonna be taking orders, I would go on your website, and I know I've mentioned this, but make sure that you complete your own, your own checkout process. So go to your Shopify store as a customer, go through the complete checkout process and order a product and have it shipped to you. I know it sounds redundant, but you just wanna test the process as a customer. So um, one thing you can do so that you don't like get charged on your credit card, I guess, um, a, a high amount of money or that it's all just one transaction on the Printful side through your Printful wallet, you can just set a discount code to like 100% for yourself and set it to one-time use. And then that way uh, you don't have to put any, you don't have to get charged through Shopify it'll just charge it through Printful um, instead. And you're only gonna pay for the cost of the product in Printful. I mean, essentially you're paying yourself anyway. You're only gonna pay for the cost of the goods, but it's just one easy way to do it. Um, and then you also, not only are you testing the process as a customer through your checkout on your website, you're kind of testing the process to see making sure that your notifications work. So making sure that not only Shopify is confirming your order, but that when Printful accepts the order and starting to fulfill it, it's sending the notification when it's shipping, the shipping tracking information is working for the customer notifications that are coming from Printful. And then lastly, is that when the order actually shows up at your house from Printful, not only can you track the amount of time that it took, but when it gets there, you can look at the shipping label. Um, if you've customized your shipping label, then you can make sure that your logo is looking good. If you've left a um, custom note, which is something that you can do um, on the packing slip or the shipping label through Printful, you can read that, make sure that it's accurate, make sure it says what um, basically what you typed into Printful and that everything looks like it should. Um, and then I would just inspect, you know, the, the quality of the box and the products. It's just always good. I know sample ordering is awesome, um, saves you a little bit of money, but it's also really important that you test your own process as a customer. Because if you're not um, comfortable with that process, you can't be comfortable with, you know, strangers and customers coming in, traffic to your site, being able to complete that and be confident in that entire, in the entire process from ordering, checking out, notifications, getting it to your doorstep, um, just make sure those things are right because if you're trying to run a business and you want a good reputation, it's really important to do due diligence um, on these things. So, All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully now you can go into Printful, create your own sample orders. You kind of have an idea of how to go through that process. And I hope that I got the point across to make sure you're doing due diligence when you're uh, making sure that the checkout process and getting orders to your customers is going the way that exactly how you expect it. If this video was helpful to you, if you could drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment and let me know what you guys want to see in some of the next videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.